Have you ever needed spare chips at the last minute? Stuck a chip to the wrong bib? Or simply wanted to be more flexible with your in-house chip sticking? Well, today on Race Result Tech Check, I'm here to tell you why our new chip to go machine could be the next best thing since sliced bread or our foldable ground antenna. Our chip to go is a unique product which allows you to quickly and easily encode your own transponders ready to stick to the back of bibs. It was designed with simplicity and flexibility in mind. That's why it's portable enough to be carried to an event, can be run off a simple 12 volt power supply, supports a variety of inputs depending on your needs, doesn't require any additional computer or networking, and even feeds out the chip ready to be peeled away without having to fumble around with the backing sheet. But how is this actually going to make my life easier, I hear you say? Well, let's take a look at a few typical use cases. Say I have an event coming up where the organizer insists on ordering their own bibs for me to stick chips to. Normally I'd have to go away, order rolls of chips according to their number range, then when they arrive, make sure I match the right roll of chips to the right stack of bibs. All which could waste time and produces more opportunity for error. With a chip to go machine, I simply need to grab my system, any roll of raw transponders and any stack of bibs, and I'm ready to start sticking chips. I can use the handy count up or count down feature to quickly produce a series of numbers without having to stop. If I start at chip number one, and then I tell the machine to count up, it will continuously feed out sequential chip numbers until I tell the machine to stop. On the flip side, if I start from number 200 and tell the machine to count down, it will count down my chip numbers again until I tell it to stop or it reaches zero. If I don't trust myself, I can use the check antenna on front of the unit to verify the correct chip is on the correct bib. But what if the stack of bibs aren't all in the correct order, or I want to be really double, triple sure that I'm sticking the correct chip to the correct bib number? That's where our optional barcode scanner comes in handy. All I need to do is make sure my bibs include a barcode in the correct format, and when ordering bibs from us, you can request this, then simply scan the barcode, and the chip to go will produce the chip ready for me to stick to the back of the bib. The chip to go can produce up to 60 transponders a minute, that's one a second, and it definitely felt faster than that when I was trying to keep up earlier. So unless you can stick faster than that, this definitely shouldn't slow you down. Where this comes in useful is those Friday afternoons where an organizer calls and says, uh, Hey, uh, I need uh, 200 more chips. Is that okay? Well, now it can be. Assuming you can get the bibs printed in time or have some spare ones lying around. You can use the chip to go to quickly encode the transponders you need for those bibs. In fact, why not even take it to the event with you and do it on site? That's one of the use cases where the chip to go could actually save you money. Perhaps I have an event where the organizer is a little bit optimistic and reckons they're gonna get 500 on the day entries for a race with only 200 people signed up. From past experience, I know this is pretty unlikely. And if I order 500 spare bibs with chips, I could be wasting 400 chips, which is not ideal. Well, why not order those bibs without their chips, then use my chip to go on site. So when someone comes to sign up, I simply grab the next available bib scan the barcode or enter the number via the touch screen or USB keypad and I can have the chip encoded, stuck and ready to go before they ask, so what time does the race start? Taking a closer look at the chip to go itself, the unit is completely standalone. You don't need anything else to use it, no computer based software or network. Simply one chip to go with a power supply, your roll of raw transponders and you're ready to go. The unit uses the same power adapter as seen on our loop boxes and trap box chargers. We supply this with a 15 volt power supply, but as mentioned, it will work with a 12 volt supply, just with a slightly slower motor speed. On the front of the unit, we have the touchscreen display, which can be read even in sunlight, so can be used outdoors at events. Below that is our chip check antenna, which can be used to check the chip and shows the current chips in range on the screen. The unit features three USB ports, which can be used with your external inputs, such as barcode scanner and number keypad, and is also used to update the firmware of the system. 
The latest firmware for the chip to go can be downloaded from our knowledge base online. Simply copy this to a USB stick, plug it in, and the update will run automatically. Chip to go machines can be ordered directly in our shop online and are competitively priced compared to other chip printing options on the market. So you could even purchase a few for mass production if needed. Raw transponders can be purchased in single or duo rolls. When ordering duo rolls, the machine will automatically encode and feed out two identical chips of the same number at a time. It is worth noting, this isn't a chip printing machine which can be used to produce rolls of transponders in advance. But when the chip to go can encode and feed the chips ready to stick this quickly, it eliminates the need to pre-print transponders. It can be used by anyone with minimal training. In fact, about as much as it takes to say stick the right chip to the right bib anyway. That's all for chip to go Now it's time for me to go. And if you do want to learn more about how to use the chip to go then check out the additional videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.